everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing another variety of things. Started this morning with more stones on the stone wall over there. As you can see, it's practically up to the top, just a little bit left to do, and then filling in the cracks. Taped off and stained the very last of the ceiling joists for this lower level, so that felt good to get that done. Now you can see clear across, they're all stained. And then I uh, figured I wanted to start working on this sink basin area that I'm gonna to have to build from scratch um, and I I was kind of thinking about like you know how, how to approach it and it occurred to me that I think it would make more the most sense to assemble all of these drawers here get them in place and then I can you know put the boards out and get everything stretched and uh, you know have it fit in perfectly into the space instead of trying to you know guess about how big it's going to be and then add the drawers later so anyway Decided to start installing the drawers now. And uh, the first step in that is getting them onto the floor and making sure that they're the same height as these because there's going to be a contiguous countertop going all over the entire area. And you know, even if you get these nice and level, if they're higher than these over here, you're going to have to have some weird transition area in here. So I've been using this nice long four foot level to get uh, a run from here to here. And you know, level's not absolutely perfect, but it's, you know, it's going to be close enough for what I need. You know, there's going to be a bead of silicone glue and everything. There'll be a little bit of play in there. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, I got, got a, a run across there. And I'm, I'm setting this cabinet in place right now, but uh, the floor here is not flat. And, you know, you could say, oh, what terrible contractors to have you know, poured the floor and it's not flat. I, it's, it's kind of ordinary that a, a concrete floor isn't going to be absolutely flat, at, you know, everywhere. You know, it's just... That's just the nature of it. So um, I'm just dealing with it by kind of uh, reshaping the bottom of this cabinet that's going to be right up here so that it will uh, you know, fit onto the floor and not be all rocking around. Again, I, I grabbed a, uh, a reading from here to the corner of this cabinet before I rolled it on its side and made sure that I knew what height this one, that this corner needed to be. And then I kind of fit off of that one and figured out where I was needing to trim. And I've been kind of just ripping off this side because this part of the floor, it's a little higher over here. I've been ripping this side down a little bit and I'm pretty much there. Uh, and I just want to show you uh, the kind of alternate way I've been using the saw here. Um, a hand saw I can cut straight lines, but you can also use another way. It's like dragging it across surfaces to, cut, to try to kind of mill them down a little bit. And I'm going to show you that process right now. Definitely want the safety of the hearing protection and the eye protection. The eye protection allows me to look directly at this thing. I mean, you should always wear eye protection anyway, but you definitely want it when you're, you're looking right at the blade of the saw and you know making sure that it's doing what you want it to do. Sometimes, I mean, this isn't the safest thing, but you can kind of get away with not using it if you're just going to be back here and you don't need to actually see what you're doing, but I'm going to have to be looking directly at it, so I definitely need the safety glasses. And the hearing protection, this is really loud. It's like, almost like an acoustic resonating chamber in here, so I definitely need the hearing protection too. I'm just going to put this on an angle and tap it in and kind of drag it up the side to try to shave this down a touch. The cleanest kind of cuts, it's kind of ratty there, but it's all going to be hidden, so it doesn't much matter. So, rotating this back up, and I've got marks on the floor where it's supposed to go, which were easier to see when there was sun outside. It's getting a little dark, I think we're going to have some rain. Okay, and now it's not, it's not jiggling around at all, I've got a nice flat surface, and take the level, double check here to here, and it looks good, and across here. And it looks good. Okay, so now this point's transferred to here, which is transferred to all the others. Every time you transfer a point, there's a little bit of error in there. So, I mean, if you had a super long level and you can go all the way from here to here, that would be ideal. This is the longest level that I've got. Uh, but now I can use this to gauge all the rest of the cabinets along there. So that's it. Alternate ways of using saws. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.